financial market since the year of uh, 2010, so for some time now. And today I'd like to share my experience uh, regarding different emotions we face in trading. First of all, I'd like to point out that, well, trading is indeed quite emotional. Uh, we can't deny that. And uh, if you uh, browse through various information which exists regarding trading psychology and regarding the correct attitude uh, we should have uh, to emotions, um, you will probably meet the idea that emotions are really harmful for trading for traders and to be successful it is necessary to kind of uh, uh, turn all the emotions off however i don't like that idea at all because um, i think that uh, we shouldn't try to do something which is well, not really possible because, um, well, we are people, we are emotional and um, definitely we will feel something when we are um, at financial markets and see the situation which is rapidly changing and face uh, different kind of uh, decisions we have to make in trading. So um, I don't think that we should um, set getting rid of emotions as our goal. The goal here should be, um, well, controlling emotions to some extent. And the first thing, the most important thing is to be aware of emotions, to accept them. And um, in uh, some cases, to use these emotions to your advantages. So um, to shatter this myth that emotions are bad, well, emotions are natural and sometimes they may be even quite good. Before we um, talk about um, personal emotions, uh, just individual trader has, I'd like to point out that um, we should always be aware about the fact that the market is a kind of sum of different individuals, even though some of uh, these people are um, traders of big hedge funds, they still are experiencing emotions. And um, as a result, this um, big sum of people who are acting at the market creates emotions of the crowd. And we know that pretty well uh, looking at different financial bubbles. And uh, in many cases, then a trend develops and the market gets in this state of euphoria. It is uh, difficult to resist that thing. And even um, experienced traders who, uh, who have seen a lot of different crashes or situations when the market gets crowded, they uh, still fall in this situation Then they buy at the top of the market when everyone is in the kind of hysterical state about the asset. Or on the other hand, um, sometimes uh, try to catch falling knives and try to um, enter the market which is moving uh, to the downside with greater speed. Of course, it is kind of difficult to um, catch the reversals of the market and uh, really buy low and say, sell high. However, um, the first step here is indeed see this situation when the market is getting uh, kind of emotionally involved in an asset and try to redouble your efforts to perform objective analysis in these situations. So um, we know that this general psychological and emotional feeling exists in the market even without us there and it will continue to exist. When we arrive to the market and we, when we are faced with the charts, uh, we are dealing with our own emotions. And um, one of the main emotions I think um, everyone has already experienced in trading are greed and fear. And um, well, it is possible to, uh, I think, talk extensively about that. But uh, what I would like to underline today is that these emotions are not always wrong. Here, 
I tried to express this idea, but of course I need to explain what I meant here. So um, let us have a look at the wrong way first. So uh, wrong way is to experience greed in a losing position. What does it mean? Well, it happens that um, some Um, I hope that it is malfunction. I'm sorry. I see that it should be fine. Some weird internet stuff. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Don't panic. We have resolved the problem. So um, I'll try to pick um, the situation at some point. I don't really know when was the exact moment you stop seeing and hearing me. So let's um, return to the grid question in a losing trade. What I was saying is actually that you have an open position, it is in a minus, and um, you don't have a stop loss at some place. You uh, put it in advance, you don't have that. And uh, you try to make this decision whether to close this trade or um, wait for the reversal. And uh, in this case, you actually um, lose the ability to see the market in the objective way because the greed is preventing you from that point, the greed that you don't want to lose any kind of money in, uh, in any case here. 
and uh, as a result, you wait and wait. And we know that the market is uh, well not uh, the kind of um, organism that will listen to our uh, desires. It will act in its own way. So. Um, in many cases, this kind of greedy behavior in the lucid trade may be quite dangerous. And you know, I'd like you to see that and, and pinpoint these situations. And uh, if you have them, try to deal with them uh, by using the appropriate uh, risk management tools. As for fear in a winning trade, well, um, in many cases, I have met traders who kind of make analysis of the market, they make their trade, they set up their take profit level, but then they uh, see that even though the price is moving in the direction of their take profit level, they try, they start fearing that uh, the price won't get right to that level. They see that they already have some points of profit and think, well, why wait? I had better close my trade now because um, it is better to have something than nothing. And um, well, in some cases that is of course right, but um, that won't uh, really improve your trading skills and won't let you be confident in what you do in trading if you make the analysis, set your target and then um, in every trade, you fear that the price uh, doesn't get to your take profit. You can see that this is not um, the confident behavior um, a trader should have. Of course, overconfidence is bad, but um, some confidence should exist. And um, it is not a good thing to, um, to avoid the profit uh, you could have made. Uh, by this uh, rushing into closing a trade. Uh, the right approach uh, here also exists, so we should kind of um, switch these emotions. We, fe we feel greed and fear in these two kind of situations, so that uh, then we have a losing trade. Um, it is better to act on the conservative side of things uh, if we consider uh, sustainable risk management and not one trade but um, a series of trades we will have so that the result in one trade is not as um, important as the entire performance. So here um, you should try to forgo greed but you may introduce some kind of fear fear of the negative consequences, which will help you to respect your stop loss levels and your risk management rules and indeed um, act on the conservative side of things. Um, on the other hand, uh, being a bit of greedy in a winning position is not an entirely bad thing. At least uh, greed will help you not to uh, close your trade prematurely, to wait for the take profit. And well, um, if you feel that uh, the situation is um, difficult for you and if you do more kind of trend trading, well, trailing stop losses can also help you to uh, limit your risk exposure and to lock in some profits. So uh, the solutions may be, and the emotions here may also um, kind of help to push you in the right direction so that you um, don't, um, you feel the emotions, you feel fear and greed sometimes, but let's say in the right places, in the right times. This is what I wanted to say. Another thing uh, in traders' emotions, which actually causes me um, a lot of emotions myself, then I see that among uh, traders is the fear of missing out, rushing into a trade, because that is a very big problem among some people I have met, and um, a problem which is not easily remedied and not easily um, overcome by people. Um, it is kind of difficult for 
those especially who only start trading to believe that um, the situation, the setup they see on the chart is not the last setup in the world of trading. They uh, fear that if they don't make this trade, uh, they will never have opportunities like that in the future. But um, it is clear that that is not true, that every day the market presents us with various kinds of opportunities. So fear of missing out should be very, very strictly controlled here. And um, it can be, I think, enlarged to Russian intra trade in general. If you uh, catch yourself at the situation that you um, are moving to your trade decision maybe too quickly, uh, that you didn't uh, think uh, for the time you usually spend to think about a trade, try to just stop for a moment and uh, ask yourself, uh, are you really sure about this? Because um, in many cases, people just want some action. They want to click on the new order button. They want to press, uh, place some order and see that um, some money is getting there in their open positions. Um, but um, that uh, desire is, um, well, it is rational in some point for us to want have, to have benefit from trading. But it is um, not, um, not good for clear thinking. And as a result, this is a kind of emotion we should avoid. Some uh, slide here, a picture about uh, fear of missing out um, and uh, the statements traders make when they uh, do fear of missing out. A bit funny, so um, they think about what they could have done um, looking at the chart, which has already made a big movement and they uh, think that, oh my God, time is running out, and so on and so on. Um, well, tr look at these phrases and try to see whether you have these habits. If you do, try to uh, avoid them um, and to get them um, out of your trading life, or at least kind of reduce them to the minimum level. What else can we do about emotions in trading? What other emotions? Well, um, I think that a lot of emotions we can name. No, we have already talked about um, hurry and fear of missing out, about fear and greed. Uh, what else do we have? Um, I think overconfidence and um, the lack of confidence also is a kind of uh, thing we get a lot of at the market. Some um, emotions which are related to stress probably are also here um, that uh, situations when we are very nervous, so something like that. Um, if we get some general tips and recommendations that help to keep emotions under control. I would say that it is necessary to mention such um, general things as um, time management and uh, trading plans because they help you to organize things, um, to feel yourself as the master of the situation and not uh, the object which is just feeling this um, range of emotions. Um, trading plan, risk management also helps us to um, get this feeling of something we can control because we cannot control the market, obviously, but we can control some of our action. And um, I think that it is necessary to use every opportunity to control your own actions in trading because um, according to my experience, that does create a feeling of uh, calm, confidence and, well, just positive mindset, which is so necessary here. Rest and some compartmentalizing in your life 
So putting trading in one box and uh, unboxing it uh, in the time of trading and not uh, like bruising over different emotions and feelings when you do other stuff is also an important thing because um, it is not wise to think about um, trading and what happened during the day uh, just uh, 24 hours a day. In addition, I think um, motivation is in general is um, important. Um, we know that uh, motivation is a kind of thing we see a lot in the internet, but actually I think uh, it's worth starting your day with some positive thoughts, uh, focusing on some goals and thinking why you do trading, what you love about it, um, and so on. Um, just remembering why you are trading and what positive uh, sides it has for you. In this case, it really helps to calm down and stay more disciplined. Self-assessment self um, is also on the list and it helps to uh, become uh, less emotional. It helps to uh, learn on your own mistakes. And after all, um, I think that this may actually be the most important thing because every person is um, different. And uh, then you know yourself really well, you know your weaknesses, you know your strengths. You can kind of uh, trick yourself sometimes into feeling um, some positive emotions and helpful emotions and uh, trick yourself into um, not feeling or feeling uh, more limited negative emotions which can lead to better results in trading. Um, no one knows uh, that better than um, you do, so, um, well, you should try to act as your own uh, therapist and to uh, identify the problems you have and, well, think of the solution uh, that may help um, you um, in this situation. Um, well, what else can you name? Um, no regrets attitude and it is really important stuff as well because um, the situation when we regret maybe some mistake we made in trading or um, something we haven't done when we had the opportunity or something else which happened in the market that can be the trigger of other um, negative emotions and that can um, kind of uh, get deep into your consciousness and lead to fear, to um, guilt, to uh, the lack of confidence. So um, try to see that what has happened in the past um, should remain in the past and you do not uh, need to project this um, emotions to your future results. Um, of course, we can learn from the past and that is what we should do because if, um, try, if I try to analyze what helps me in trading most, I think that um, experience is, um, my personal experience is the main thing um, which makes me learn new things. Of course, I do uh, read a lot of textbooks, uh, I do um, see some educational things, but after all, um, the things you do yourself provide a valuable source of experience, so even failures can help to get an important lesson. Well, um, it is necessary to regard these things as things which didn't happen in vain and just for nothing. So. Mm, no regrets is a kind of thing which will uh, help you um, do better at your risk and money management. Um, and together, these things um, are a kind of basis of a good trading attitude. As um, always with trading, we can't say that there is only one recommendation for successful dealing with emotions or 
um, other things because all the small elements um, we talked about today like um, the separate emotions like the fact that we uh, have a look at the market in general and uh, we feel what the market feels like fear of missing out or euphoria in case of um, a rapid and recognizable trend all of that um, forms the big picture um, and it is necessary to see this picture as a whole and to create this um, emotional attitude brick by brick every day um, in order to uh, be really successful. So um, this, I think, was the main uh, thing I you know, wanted to tell you about emotions. So if you have any contributions about that, please um, let me know. I should also remind you about the courses, uh, the premium subscription Tradimo has, where you can get personalized learning support and a free learning experience. And also, I'd like to point out that on Friday, there will be another webinar. I have uh, this week, um, it will be related to um, more to technical analysis this time than to the general talk we had today. So um, I'm inviting you to join at the same time on Friday, we'll um, speak technical analysis. So um, if you don't have any questions about emotions, well, I just hope that this um, review was helpful to you. Once again, sorry for technical problems. And uh, well, if you have any suggestions about the topics of the upcoming webinars, uh, you are also very welcome to um, let me know any any time. Well, yeah. So um, thanks everyone for your attention. I wish you all the best, and see you at the next webinars with Trading Room.